Hey, good afternoon folks. Ben Kruger here with Old School Manufacturing. Hey, we wanted to uh, do a short video here on a couple different things concerning the computer in the back of the control panel. You notice it says IDEC right up here. Uh, there's a couple different things that can cause error with this. Um, probably one of the most common is low PLC battery. That's indicated on your monitor. We showed you that here at the beginning of it. So we want to talk you through that first and foremost. A couple different options here. Um, number one, you should shut the power off your monitor so we have no lights on our, uh, on our computer here. So Dad's going to shut that off. You see all the lights go away. It's dead to the world. So if you're really handy, you can see really well in the dark, congratulations. We're going to start by removing this top terminal strip of wire. I'm going to pull on one end of it, I'm going to pull on the other. The entire terminal strip with the wires in place all pop out. Tuck that back up out of the way. Now the next part is going to be kind of hard to see from our camera angle. But just stay put, we're okay. I'm going to show you a close up here in just a second. So you can remove that top terminal strip of wires, reach in here with a small flathead screwdriver like I have, pop your battery out. Don't worry, there's a close-up coming. Don't get upset at me. I just want you to see you can do this without removing it all. There's our battery. Just slide right up out of there, okay? But for some of us, that's not as easy, so that's okay. We're going to go ahead and show you how to remove the entire computer. It takes another 15 seconds, okay? So, we're going to start back at square one, wires are plugged in, step one, remove the top wires, step two, remove the wires over here on the side, once again, the entire plug, don't pull on the wires, pull on the plug itself, step three, remove the bottom set of wires, don't pull on the wires, pull on the plug itself, remove that, kind of like a phone cable, all the ethernet, Okay, now this one here is a little different. We see two wires. These are actually our power wires. One is blue, one is black. That's actually taking power to our computer. There's a little bitty plastic shield right here. I'm going to hook my finger in behind it and pull forward. The wires eject when that happens. Okay, those are out now. Back to my small screwdriver. There's a little bitty D ring, black in color, back against the inside panel. I pull down, I hear a click, there's a second one below the expansion module, down until I hear a click, okay, my computer is now free, pull out, pick up, here's my computer, now you can see our battery slot here a little better, before what I did was I took my screwdriver, went in, pulled up, so I can get my fingers around it, pull my battery out, put a new battery in it, put it back in place, done, okay? I'm going to go ahead and snap this back into place, just reverse, hang it on the top, let it drop down, reach back in here and push up with your finger, snap one, snap two, pick up on it, everything's in place, put my power wires in, Bottom strip, side strip, top strip, last but not least, Ethernet cable. All done. Just change out a PLC battery. One other thing that's interesting, if you have to change a computer yourself, we just showed you how to do that also. Hey, we appreciate your help. We appreciate your business. Have a blessed day.